I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com, and we're at the iFootage booth, and I'm with Madison. How are you doing today, Madison? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Now, we have a, a new upgrade to your slider. This is the Shark Slider Mini. You want to tell us about it? Yes, it's a younger brother of the original S1A3 slider, shark slider. Uh, it's uh, designed for uh, people who travel a lot, um, uh, who, who, who wants to put all the three axis motion control into the backpack. Like myself, I, I hike a lot, so I want to take it with me and go to the top of the mountain and do, do some like star trail shoot and, and, and all that, yeah. Now it has a different design and a look from your other slider. It, you're going into a whole, whole new deal. This is completely different. There is some really cool features about this new, uh, the, the Shark Slider Mini. It's not just one size fits all, is it? Yes, uh, it's not a fixed length. Uh, basically, it's all modular, modular base. Uh, for example, the, um, the 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 track itself now with no belt. So people don't don't need to worry about like bringing the bells or losing them, um, and the the side of the slider and it's all again one clip and you can take it off and then you put another track in and just a few clips and off you go. So you can extend it as long as you want, you know, uh, no worries about the limitations on, on that. <laughs> Madison, how long have you guys made this track? I mean, these are one foot pieces, right? I mean, how how long have you actually uh, got this thing? Well. Uh, Everyone's talking about the, the, they want to be the shorter sliders and compact. Well, it is compact, but we want to break the world record. Like we want to set it up as like 20 meters long or 40 meters long to film a 747 jumbo jet and no problem with the shark slider mini. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> and another uh, cool uh, feature is it's toolless, right? Yeah, it is. Like for example, you look at this flywheel, mini flywheel, like the bigger brother. Um, here you just, okay. Yeah, here you just pop it off and no screws nothing so you put put it back in and off you go you still get that inertia effect when you push the the modules uh, the base and uh, yeah you get really really smooth shot um, so with the with the motion control unit you pop it off and you put the slider module in and, and you can control the units with the iOS app and the Android Android version is gonna come out soon Wow, that's very nice. So you can add motion control, and with that you can do time-lapsing or just hands-off control. Yeah, with time-lapse, videos, uh, parallax, um, panoramic, and uh, yeah, photo stitching, and, and all within the app. Fantastic. Now, it, it looks very rigid. It's, it's, very, it's very rigid, so it's not going to you know, bend or kind of give different uh, you know, issues with that when you have sliders that get... Yeah. Heavy camera loads on them; they'll do that. Yeah. You also have a seam here. Does that have any effect on on the play of the? No, 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 definitely not. Um, with the precision engineering, uh, we made it like uh, you you don't feel any bump at all. And uh, yeah, the, the the track itself is really solid, really robust. Uh, it's definitely no flex, no bending, or anything like that. And how easy is it to assemble and disassemble the track pieces? Okay, uh, I can show it yeah. show it to you here. So uh, look, we can look at the one below here. So basically, you, it's probably one hand operation, really. So there's a clip here, I take it off, and again, take it off, and boom, off you go. A three-point contact. Um, the, again, the engineering here is really, really good, so that you don't feel any bump when they put it together. And uh, here we go, just one hand, so really quick. It took, it took me like 20 seconds. And toolless, which is a big deal, because yes. we always lose our tools in the bag when we need them. Exactly, exactly. So I don't, sometimes you don't want to miss a moment, the crucial moment. This, uh, you know, you just want to get out, get it out from the backpack, and off you go. You want to start to shoot. You know, no fiddling around with the screws and bells and all that. Now, how do the ends come off of the slider as well? Because you might want to add it to that part, or you always want to add it to the middle. Yeah. Well, basically, just one clip, boom, and take it off like that. So no more screws again. And, and again, no more belt because if you if you if you're gonna extend it with the older version, you have to buy you have to fit a longer belt and all that. Or if you want to fit even longer, oh, you're gonna you're gonna think, oh, where where do I buy the new belt? <laughs> and now you don't need to worry about it. Fantastic. Yes. And it also has feet. Is that integrated into those ends? Yes, yeah, same as the uh, Shark Slider S1 uh, with the feet, extendable feet. You just need to unscrew it a little bit, make it longer. And uh, yeah, it's really, really, really handy. It's all, all built in in there. Um, one of the features I want to talk about is um, some people do like a 45 degree tilt. Um, so with this catch here, you can adjust the base to make it 45 degree or actually up to 60 degree. So uh, people do like a horizontal um, uh, a, a side up, up slide and then you can get a very nice balanced shot. And that the plate locks in that position. How yeah. does it lock? So, you can see, you can sorry, you can see it here. I put it up. 
and now lock it in place with a with a screw that right down there. So here we go. And is there a payload uh, limitation to this slider? Uh, the payload, I, right now, I think it's about 10 kilogram uh, in the shorter length. The longer length is about 8 kilogram. Uh, but with the X2 mini module, uh, it's up to 2 kilogram. So it's best fit for cameras like uh, mirrorless uh, or, or something like Sony S, um, A, A7S or something like that. Yeah. And you also have options on how to carry the slider. You got two different bags. Talk to me about the bags. Yeah, we have the soft case. Uh, people who like you just, you know, doing a city, you know, city walk and, and you know, go around the city and do, do some shots. Um, they, there's a soft bag is a very good solution for them. And we do have the hard case as well. So people go travel a lot, you know, on the plane, off the plane. They, they don't want to have the gear and you know, just keep bumping around. So I think uh, these this two options is good for, for, for the customers. Options are very good, and you can have enough space. It looks like to put maybe a lens and camera in there, so you can go yeah. kind of lean and mean and get your tra get your time lapses. Yes, exactly. So you can fit two tracks there, and you can fit all the motion motion modules right in there, and fit a camera and two lenses in there. So it's good enough for people to just go do videos or time lapse and stuff. So yeah. So I also understand you have a new head that might work pretty well with the system as well, right? Oh yes, it's called Komodo uh, K5. So right. it's a fluid head. Well, maybe we should take a look at that. Yeah, sure. All right, let's do it. 